I want to start week 19 of a study in Galatians out by saying thank you. Thank you to every person that's ever sown into this ministry because we're doing things that we wasn't doing six years ago. I mean, it's going on six years that we have been doing this podcast, working in the jails and the prisons, and and I'm gonna tell you something. We're doing a whole lot more today than we than we started out. I had no idea what this ministry was going to turn into when I started it. All I knew to do was to do what God told me to do. And you know, I was on the radio for. I guess over a year, year and a half, something like that. My wife would have to look back and see, but he told me, the Lord told me, he said, stop the radio and start doing this podcast. And and we've been doing it we, since 2018. And in March of this year, we will have, we'll have been doing it for six years. And you say, well, what's so important about that? Well, you you have no idea the people that we have reached all over the all over the world with the good news of Jesus Christ and and it thrills me to be able to to tell you that that people are finding out where they stand with God because of the truth in God's word not because of religion and it thrills me to be able to tell you that this ministry has a a group of people that that so regularly into it to help us do what we do. I'm going to say this. Partners, thank you for all that you do, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do a long, long time ago, and that is to give His Word away free of charge to anybody that will listen, to teach people who they are in Christ Jesus, to teach them what God says about them instead of how they feel or what they see in their, in their, in their past and that that don't define us. I've got a good friend. I've got a good friend. He'll hold his Bible up. And he he says it. He said this place. Talking to people in the, in the jails. He said this place is not who you are. He said it's where you are. Don't let it define you. And that is so true. That is so true. What God says about us is far more than how we feel about ourselves, about our shortcomings, and about all the junk that's, that we've lived in and, and walked in. That's the reason this, this, this uh, ministry is called the prodigal son. It's because the prodigal son ministries is because, that they, look, every one of us has been prodigals in one time or another. And, and it's up to us. God has called me to, to be a light to every person on this planet and teach them what he says about them. What God says about them is far more than, than, than they ever have known or heard in their life. And I'm going to say this. If you're not a partner of this ministry, if you want to be part of something that is diligently lifting people up on a daily basis to show them, to help them, to realize that, that look here, there's hope for them. And it's all in Christ Jesus. I'm going to tell you something. Biblical hope is a confident expectation. I'm not talking about wishing. I'm not talking about hoping for the best. I'm talking about a confident biblical hope is confident expectation that what God's Word says is true and I can count on it. That's what we instill in every person on this planet that listens to this podcast. We want the people of this world to know and understand that God loves them, He cares for them, and wants more than anything for them to know it. So, partners, it, thank you. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into His kingdom, to further what we're doing out here in this world, to teach people who they are in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. My prayers for today come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians to, to know and understand and, and come to the knowledge of just how much God loved them, just how much he cared for them. That's the reason I do these pod, or these prayers on this podcast five days a week, because I want the world to know what Paul wanted the Ephesians to know, that God loves you and he cares for you and he wants more than anything in the world for you to know it. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. 
I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated Him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now He is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this... I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely, infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to Him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that He opens my eyes to that love more and more every day. He does it through His Word. And I thank God for what we're able to give to you today, and that is His Word. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your Word. Guide me. Father, use me for your honor and your glory, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Uh, I'm excited about what we're doing today, the scripture that we're using today, because, you know, over the years we've, we've uh, taught a lot in, in who we are in Christ but today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about what we're called to do, and and for the for the for the uh, people that feed us, and that's that's a, it's exciting for me because I've kind of shied away from from these scriptures and and but it's it's come to the point in in this study that Paul starts talking about it and and talking about sowing into the people that teach you and and what the ministries that you are benefiting from what we you know we we partner with other ministries and and uh what we're talking about today is supporting the ministry and let me let me just go and read it it's galatians 6 and 6 it says let him that is taught in the word Communicate unto him that teaches in all things. Now that's that's kind of vague. That's that's the King James version, but the New Living Translation says those who are taught the word of God should provide for their teachers, sharing all good things with them. In other words, sow into as into someone's ministry to help them feed somebody else and 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 lift them up in prayer. And you know uh, it's a uh, uh, Partnering with this ministry is not just monetary. It's not just uh, money. It's you, you, uh, you determine in your heart that you're going to pray for this ministry. You're going to lift us up. The Amplified Classic says, "Let him who received instruction in the word, uh, in the word of God, share all good th- things with his teacher, contributing to his support." Now. Like I said, I've shied away from stuff like this this the the entire time that I've been doing this podcast. Very few times that we we talk about supporting this ministry. It's just because, you know, it just wasn't I just wasn't built that way. 
But the Lord's told me over the years that if if somebody is going to get anything from His Word, they need a good round understanding of all of it. Not just salvation, not just uh, finding out who they are in Christ, not just finding out who He is, but finding out the benefits of a relationship with God. And if, and if you'll do what God's Word says, what well, He will do for you. And it, that takes me to Luke, uh, the sixth chapter, and the 38th verse. I think that's that's right. Uh it's the, it's the uh, let me get to it here. Luke, see, I went to John instead of Luke. Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet, with all shall it be measured to you again. You know, I, that te- uh, Mark 10, 29, and 30 talks about it and I talk about this all the time if you've ever partnered with this this ministry you're familiar with uh, Mark 10 29 and 30 because that's what our prayer is for every person that that sows into this ministry Mark 10 29 and 30 says and Jesus answered and said verily I say unto you there is no man that has left fought have left house or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wives or children or lands for my sake and the gospels but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. He said, look, whatever you've given up in this life for his sake. Now, that was Jesus talking for his sake and the gospels. He said, it shall return unto you a hundredfold. And that's what we pray over every contribution that we get in this ministry. That whoever sows into this ministry is rewarded a hundredfold return on what they sowed into this ministry. Look, there's people in this world that need to know. They need to know what God's Word says, and that's what we're, we have set out to do, and that is to minister to anybody that'll listen. That's the reason this podcast is free to everybody that takes it. Everybody that's willing to listen, we have made it free of charge. That's, that's what God told me to do years ago, is to give it away. And he said, I will make sure you're taken care of. And you say, well, how does he take care of you? Through contributions, through people that see a, a, a benefit from this, from this ministry. You know, there's people, there's people that, that give, send us money on a monthly basis. And, and I thank God for them because the partners of this ministry, is, they're, they're benefiting from what this ministry is doing. We are reaching out. And we just come through a, a, a time that we got, we had the, we had the privilege of, of giving away pizzas in two different uh, jail facilities, correctional facilities. And, and just, I'm talking about, had a, a good time. I think that, uh, I think the blessing was more on me than it was on anybody else because it, it was, it meant so much to me to be able to do it. And it, it, it's, a, it's a privilege to be able to do it. And I, I want you to understand something. When the Word of God goes out, whoever's sending that Word has just as much a blessing from what that Word uh, does in, in when it's sent out as the one that's speaking it. So that means our partners. Our partners, they have, they have a blessing tied to what they are backing. I thank God for that. I learned that a long time ago. If if who I'm feeding on their teaching, if I'm feeding on their teaching, I, I can guarantee if I'm partnering with them, I can I can reap the blessings that they reap. God wants us to understand that it takes something to operate out here in this world. It takes money to operate in this world. It this this podcast is free to people. To anybody that'll, that'll, that will uh, listen to it. But it comes at a cost. 
and and this those costs are are paid for by people that partner into Prodigal Son Ministries to see the word go out. I, I told the guy the other day, I said, you you have no idea how it, how it feels to see the light come on in, in somebody's eyes when they come to realize how much God loves them and He cares for them and He wants them to know that. You know, it's one thing to be born again and struggle through life not knowing who you are in Christ, but it's another to be born again and find out who you are and the benefits that come with that salvation and be able to help somebody else see that see that uh, see that benefit come. You know, I I told them here a while back at one of our where we video or film the uh, the videos that go into the prisons. You know, I've talked about it two or three weeks in a row because it, it's a blessing to know that I have inmates in some of these some of these jails and prisons that that we are we're we're going into that have taken this study and learned who they are in Christ and have decided they're going to go and do what they can to further God's kingdom through teaching what we've been teaching for years now. Over two years, this this podcast has been been taught. June twenty first of two thousand twenty one was the first time we started teaching this study. Now we've been teaching this study since two thousand eighteen. I, I look back just this morning, and the first message that I preached on this on this podcast was who we are, and it, it's amazing what this this ministry has grown into since 2018 and and this at this at the time of this uh this uh preaching or this teaching this podcast being recorded this podcast has are there there's over 1500 podcasts out here free to the public so that they can download it and i have no idea how many incarcerated individuals in this in this nation have had the privilege of watching the videos on the tablets that go out? And I'm going to tell you something. If you're a partner of this ministry, you've got a part in every person that gets fed out here in this world. God will bless you. He, he blesses us. He, I, I thank God that I can look back over my life and see where God has, has has sustained us in everything we've ever done. We've never wanted for anything. You say, well, have you ever needed something? Absolutely. We, 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 we need more and more every day because of what we're doing. But He has never failed us, and He'll never fail you. I thank God for that. Now listen, I, 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 I've talked about this very little on this podcast, but... But I do something every time I do a podcast that I do very faithfully, and that is to give someone an invitation to be born again, whether they're whether they are uh, whether they're here and they've been listening to this podcast for years. I mean, this thing's been on the on the on the on the internet for over six years now. But let me ask you something: Are you born again? I'm not trying to make anybody doubt. I don't want to make anybody doubt. But I want you to understand that Romans 10 and 9 is is the recipe for salvation. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. I, I ask people all the time, I said, oh, have you ever made Jesus Lord? And they look at me and they say, well, you know, I've asked him to forgive me. And that's there's a difference. You know, we've all asked God to forgive us 10,000 times in our life. But we have we ever invited him in to be Lord of our life? said, Jesus, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, and by faith I receive you as my Lord and Savior because I know in my heart that God raised you from the dead to justify me. I thank God that that, that there's people hearing this, this type of invitation every time we do a podcast because I want them to, to know and settle it in their heart. I was in the jail earlier today, and I told them, I said, listen, If you are born again, settle it in your heart that you are a child of God and find out 
who you are. That's what holds people back. They never settle salvation in their heart. They hope they are. They hope they've done everything right. Romans 10 and 9 is simple. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. So do that today. It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life today, and watch him change your life forever. Now listen, go to our website, get in touch with us, download these podcast apps, get these podcasts, come to your phone six days a week. We do this podcast during the week, Monday through Friday, and then we put a our the the videos that goes into the prisons and on the tablets, we take the audio off those videos and make a Sunday mess- message out of that. So you get six podcasts a week coming straight to your phone. All you got to do is download the app. And there again, it is free. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And I want to encourage you, if you're not a partner of this ministry, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into this and his kingdom through prodigal son ministries today. And if you are Partners, thank you. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.